Mr. Director, this is Agent Vivian DeLay. For the last 10 years, the Central Intelligence Agency has been after Wolfgang Braun. The wolf. As you know, we have no positive identification of what the wolf looks like. What we do know is he's a former German national who sells atomic material to terrorists all over the world. Intelligence confirms that a transaction is to take place next week in Belgrade. The wolf's number one man, the albino, will be selling a dirty bomb to Syrian buyers. We've already dispatched a team to eliminate the buyers, secure the bomb, and apprehend the albino. How may I be of service, sir? Your target is the wolf. We have reason to believe he'll be present. Find him and eliminate him. Yes, sir. Let them get the albino, you get the wolf. Uh, sir, if I may, who is our agent on the ground? Ethan Renner. He's a lifer. He'll get the job done. The buyers have been neutralized. Well done, Ethan. <coughs> well done. Maid service, I have your extra towels. left a big mess. Yeah, well, uh, <coughs> I'm thinking, I'm uh, thinking, I'm calling in sick. Come on, you haven't had a sick day in 32 years. <coughs> Here's the scanner. Thank you, Yasmin. Stock my my bedroom with those little shampoo models. I like them. <laughs> All teams in position. Working there, my man. Ah, uh, it's not his birthday. I need a second to make a call. Cell phones aren't secure, Ethan. Yeah, well, it's my daughter. You got a pay phone outside, you got five minutes. Let's see the scan. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, I'm uh, trying to make a phone call over there, and I... I don't have any change, so if I could borrow some out of this money, Never. I can come back and I can pay you back. Never. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. This is worth a lot. I take some of this. Coming back for that. Excuse me. Have we met before? You would remember me, no?
Karachi. Yes, it's been compromised. We need to move now, Axel. All right, no one moves on the albino until we have cleared what's in the box. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We met in Karachi last April. Exactly. But then you were working as a cocktail waitress, if I remember it correctly. We got confirmation. That's a dirty bomb. Boss. Abort. Cheers, my chat. Hey. Hi, sweetie, it's your father. You didn't forget, which means you probably love me. Of course I do, Zoe. You can prove it by singing me happy birthday, loudly. Well, I could, uh, sweetheart, but I'm, uh, I'm in, I'm at work. You can leave a message after the beep. What the? F all right. Happy birthday to you. Happy. Go, go! Get in position! Cover me! To you. Happy birthday to you. enough. Put it down. Put it down. Now. No. There's a light over here. You're not going to kill me, are you? Not unless I have to. All right, but I'm, I'm not running after you anymore, fucker.
I see you've read the report. It's called glioblastoma. It's a type of brain cancer, and it's spread to your lungs. Doesn't say how much time I have left. Three months. Possibly five. So, uh, no Christmas is here, huh? I'm afraid not. I suggest you put your affairs in order. Thank you, Doctor. Well done, securing the bomb, Ethan. But now that you're no longer operational, we need to terminate our relationship. We've wired your pension into your account. The CIA thanks you for your service. Papa, il y a un homme blanc à la porte. Uh, je peux t'aider, mon ami. What are you doing in my place? You do not speak French. No, I'm, a, I'm an American. I, uh, I live here. Which floor? No, I mean, I live here. You? You are the owner. <laughs> I'm so happy to finally meet you. Écoutez, dites bonjour au propriétaire. C'est sa maison. Bonjour, mon ami. <laughs> This is my wife, Teresa. Okay. My son, Abate. My daughter, Sumi, is in the kitchen. She's pregnant. These are my cousins. They are visiting us from Mali until they go to stay with my brother in Saint Denis. Do you know Saint Denis? No. I don't know Saint Denis. <laughs> what are you doing in my apartment? We were without a home. We were seeking shelter. You are lucky we're here. Bad spirit fill empty spaces. Yeah, but now I'm back. Oh, and it is good that you're finally back. <laughs> my name is Zul. Ethan. Where's all my stuff? I also started to paint the room. My wife thinks it is best to have a chief full color. Is yellow good for you? I'm happy to do the work. It's not a problem with that. Well, actually, Jules, there is a problem. I am afraid there is nothing you can do until the 30th of April. That's months from now. We have laws that protect the disquater during the winter. <laughs> All right, then I guess I need to throw them out myself. No, 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 hey, oh. That is not a good idea, huh? Because then uh, you will go to jail for breaking the law. Ah, vas-y, vas-y, là! Hey, I'll go to, hey. huh? I'll go to jail? But, tiens, oui, je veux, oui. Well, what exactly, then, am I supposed to do? Wait for spring, like the birds, the bees, the girls and the boys. Did you really just say that to me? I need to talk to your dad. D'accord. No, 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 man. C'est toi qui commence. Please give me a minute to finish my call. Oui, oui, oui. On se rappelle. C'est un peu compliqué. Je t'en serai. On se rappelle. Oui, oui. Je te rappelle. I'm sorry, Ethan. Let's talk in private, Jules. In my room. I can assure you, we have not touched any of your things. I'm not saying you did. But I think it's time you and I got to know each other just a little better. Because you're not just crashing in some guy's house. No problem, Ethan. We will pack and leave now. C'est bon soumis à Vatan. Where are you going to go with a pregnant kid? I don't know, but we'll leave without packing. Sit down. to go yet, Jules, at least not until your daughter has her baby. 
but you stay under my rules. I am also a believer in rules. Rule number one, no one steps in this room again. No one. Absolutely. I put the bigger sign. That's right. You put a bigger sign. Rule number two, you always do what I say. No questions asked. Yes, of course. And rule number three, you, you don't ever paint my room again. You don't like the color? No. I told my wife, yellow is not a man's color. No, yellow is not a man's color. <laughs> so you also have a daughter? Yes. This is Christine. Hello, Tina. It's me. I'm in town. Um, I'm in a meeting right now, so this is not a good time to talk. I don't want to talk. I uh, want to see you. Yeah. Mm, I'm exceptionally busy, so uh, unless it's urgent. I've got some legal stuff I need you to look at before I leave town. Why? Are you getting married? No. Why are you? No. Not today. All right, I'll meet you outside. Okay. See ya. Why are we really here, Ethan? I wanted to see you. And our daughter, you, you, you want to see her too? Yes. <laughs> yes. I started a college fund. Why the sudden interest? It's not sudden, Tina. I, I try to stay in touch. I left her a message on her birthday. <laughs> yes, and now she'll have to wait another year to hear from you again. I'm dying, Tina. You think this is easy for me? No, I'm... Sick. I mean, I'm, I'm dying. Sorry it took so long, but I'm afraid your will must be signed in both French and English. I don't want Zoe to know. At least not right away. Don't look too hard. It's falling apart. I know I haven't done right by you and Zoe. I want to see her before I go. You have to make me a promise. I'll let you see her under one condition. Are you done? Are you really done working for them? Yes. Promise me. Yes. It's a lot. I should have left a long time ago. I'm gonna be fine. I've got the whole day planned first. Oh, no, no, sweetheart, no. She has her own plans. <laughs> you just have to catch up. Hi, sweetie. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Zoe. 
How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Mom, please don't cry. I'm fine. No, I'm just... I'll be back home at 8.30? Yeah. yeah. What are we supposed to do? All right. How about I cook? You're on. So you want me to call you Dad, or should I just call you Ethan? I think I like Dad. Favorite place to go after school? I didn't know he had a favorite place. Flying chairs, remember? Look, Ethan, we don't need to do this, all right? I know you probably want to talk and get to know each other. That's why I transferred back here to Paris. I'm not mad at you, all right? I don't need you to explain any of this, all right? It's not a big deal. Come on, Zoe. Let's go to the cafe. Hugh, I want you to meet Ethan. Who? I'm Zoe's father. Oh, hello. <laughs> Well, great to meet you, Ethan. Um, Mr. Renner. Sorry, sometimes I just get a bit nervous when I see American cowboys. <laughs> Yeehaw! Okay. He's older than you. Yeah, he's a senior. Is there something wrong with that? Back when I was growing up, if you... He was so different than you. Look, I know I'm blowing it here, so yeah, I, uh... Look, I... Thought you might want to ride this home. Wow, this is for me? Yeah. It's, uh, so purple. Yeah, it's your favorite color. Right, when I was, like, nine. I'm taking the metro with my friends. All right, so I'll see you home for dinner. Zoe? I'll see you home for dinner. How are these? Fresh. They're fresh? You just need to steam them, right? Don't forget to soak it in milk. Milk? Only if you plan to fry it. <laughs> Haven't got that far. I like a man that doesn't pretend to know his way around the kitchen. Yeah, well, uh, you're talking to the right guy. Yes. I think I am. Well, I'm soaking tuna in milk and thanks to you frying it for my daughter. So today is Zoe's lucky day. What'd you say your name was? You can call me Vivi. Nice running into you, Vivi, but not interested. Maybe we could talk. Let's go for a drive. All right, but my bike's coming with me. The bike's going with me. Who exactly do you work for, Vivi? I work for the director of the CIA. Wouldn't know about the top shelf. Serbia was my operation. I was looking for the wolf. We believe he was at the hotel that day, and I believe that you may have seen him. Wait a minute. And I'm willing to bet that when you see him again, you'll recognize him. I want you to come work for me. Not a chance. I already got plans. Don't you think Zoe deserves to have her daddy around for more than just a few measly months? 
Jesus. That was really close. In exchange for your cleaning services, I could offer you an experimental drug. Interested? This, Ethan, could extend your life. Where's the literature? You know, the test results. How come no one's told me about this before? Because you weren't worth the cost of treatment. Wow. You make me feel so special. You weren't, but now you are. Why? Because you're sick, and dead men have nothing to lose. I have access to many things, Ethan. But only you can give me access to the wolf. I need you to find him, and I need you to kill him. So I buy back my life by killing for you. When did you become so self-righteous? Jesus Christ, I just want to be sure that we're talking about the same thing here, you know, killing. There's a man inside that works for the Wolf's accountant. I'm gonna need you to start right away. Well, um... I got a fish to fry, and I'm I late. can get you home in time for dinner, Ethan. The question is, do you want your bike back? Pretty public place. Meaning? Meaning a uh, silencer would be handy. <coughs> How many guys are we talking about? One. <laughs> Knock him dead. Yeah, well, that's the point, isn't it? Il nous a baisé, tiens, Blockport. Pretty good for a jobber. You said there'd be one guy. Not five. Oops. But I did say keep the young man with the mustache alive. What do you think this guy looks like? <sighs> Middle-aged. Not a chance. Tell her how old you are. I am. Hey, make an effort, all right? I'm trying to save your life. Now tell her how old you are. I'm 32. Middle-aged. Jesus Christ. Now this. <laughs> Is a young man with a mustache. No, it's a goatee. That's a mustache and some stubble. That's a goatee. That's a goatee? That's a mustache, all right? This is a goatee. That's a shadow. It looks French. Since when? That's a goatee. What, in, from your century, Grandpa? <gasps> Look at that. That's a mustache. How all right, so what about the rest of these guys? Hmm? <sighs> Who are all these other guys here? I don't know. And that, and that doesn't bother you? Nope. Because I usually like to know the person I'm killing needs to be dead. And that's why you never made it to the top shelf, my friend. Goatee. You're up. I'm looking for the accountant. 
When does he get back to Paris? I don't know. I swear. Kill him. Hold on. I can get this guy to talk. <laughs> he didn't know. Do you even have a line that can't be crossed? I'm gonna need a significant raise. I wanna leave my daughter more than just my shit pension. Look, I'll close at 25, but I'm gonna cap you to half a dozen kills. Half a dozen? I'm already halfway there. We've all been asked to tighten our belts. Don't take this the wrong way, Viv, but... You're not my type. I'm everybody's type. <laughs> you, are you sure this works? No, but I am sure that if you don't try, you'll be dead in two months. It's 50,000, not 25. And you're giving me credit for those three guys upstairs. And I'm also gonna wanna I'm gonna need a million dollar life insurance policy. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. I like the package. Mm. I'm doing. Mm. Breathe, Ethan. It'll hit you more feet quick. One way or another, I will make you feel better. Don't forget to soak the fish. You promised me my bite. Some kind of joke? No, no, I mean... All these times, now's the time no, to see a I joke? Mean, maybe, uh, maybe we can fix your hair. Fix it? You can fix this? No, you can. You could uh, wash it, you could sleep on it, and look, tomorrow it'll be... It'll be back to normal, right? Maybe? You really think so? Yeah, why we make up some dinner? Ah! Hey. Don't offer to cook dinner if you're gonna be three hours late. Look, I'm sorry, Tina, but I was, uh... Save it. I was crazy to think I could count on you. I was gonna ask you to look after Zoe while I go to London for work. Then go. <laughs> really, you should go. I can handle it. You can't handle dinner. How are you gonna handle a teenager? How about I just diffuse a major meltdown? Her hair. I have to take the first flight out tomorrow morning. I'm calling a sitter. I was late because I found a doctor who can help me. What? There's a... There's a specialist here in Paris has an experimental drug she's willing to test on me. <laughs> experimental. What exactly does that mean? It means I might be able to spend a little more time with you and Zoe. 
Should have called Ethan. Because I was gonna kill you. Can we just like maybe quit uh, fighting for a second? Maybe not talk about killing someone. Me. And I could uh I could grill us up some of this tuna. Tuna? Yeah. Tuna? With all that mercury. No way. You're gonna fix that door, right? Oh. Um, yeah, it was a mistake. Been here 24 hours. I hope the sofa's gonna be comfortable. Yes. Better not caught in Karachi. Do you need something to help you sleep? Yeah, I'm gonna need it now. <laughs> You're terrible. Coming over? No, I'm dizzy. My head. My head's dizzy. Oh. Read the manual. Wait! I'm hallucinating. I'm hallucinating. I'm hallucinating. Take a shot of vodka. What? Vodka. It'll take the edge off. I. <coughs> Finding the vodka. Listen, you can call me anytime you want. It's only a one hour difference between Paris and London. And uh, you can call me too. I love you. All right. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of days. Okay, I'm running late. Your daddy has a list. Kind of a big list. Washing powder I'll see for you guys. black clothes. Uh... Zoe, come on, breakfast. One time up here, one time. <laughs> that a girl. Zoe! Oh. What? Wow. It's, uh, wow. It's what? Jeez. So what, Ethan? It's so red. <laughs> Vivi, are you gonna get that? Sorry, nobody important, just my boss, Vivi. Was she the one calling you in the middle of the night? We uh, talk a lot because we sell internationally. It's always daytime somewhere. All right, so now we've got three days to kill. What are you doing? It's called a ringtone, Ethan. I'm giving you mine. Maybe we can talk more than once a year. I don't care! There. Welcome to the century. Zoe? Zoe? Don't you want to ride your bike to school? You think Hugh's gonna like my hair color? Yes, I do. Really? Yes. You think he'll really love it? 
Well, if he cares about you, he will. So you don't love it? No. No, I, I mean, it's Zoe. Zoe, I really, I really love it. Awesome. <laughs> See, you don't believe in the customary 48-hour window between kills. Well, you only have three days left. I'm not getting into your car, Vivi. Not until I get a second opinion on that. Whatever it was you gave me. I told you. It's kosher. No, it's not. Oh. The manual says, if you'd bother to read it, you find out if I can't keep my heart rate lower, that shit's gonna act like a hallucinogen. So keep your heart rate low. That yeah, was kind of hard with the job you got me doing. <laughs> Get in the car already. I need you to locate the Italian accountant who cooks the books for your old friend, the albino. How am I supposed to uh, locate this guy? With the help of this man. His name is Mitat Yilmaz. He runs a limo service that caters to the albino. Get to know him, he'll lead you straight to the accountant. All right. And Ethan? Yeah? Lose the bike. Buy a suit. Why? Eh ben, chérie, t'as perdu ton cheval? <laughs> Il arrive de Brockwood Mountain, le mec. <laughs> so, you understand we are a luxury car service, right? Yeah. How did you come to hear this? An albino told me. Did he also tell you that we offer discreet luxury? He told me not to talk to the hired help, to, to talk to the boss. Uh, we're not to help, okay? We are the executive vice president of sales. Ooh, il est fou, lui. You're a couple of turds. Ça veut dire quoi, Terde Je crois que c'est de la merde. Oh. Listen, soul. Little piece of turd. You are nobody to us. And you will never meet the boss. Understand? All right, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I had a, I had a really weird night. You know, a couple of weird nights, jet lagged. I think maybe we got off on the wrong foot. My fault. Yeah. Can we start again? Let's start again. Jesus Christ, I'm starting to think you can see the Eiffel Tower from everywhere in this town. a very rude man to sit behind my desk without an invitation. Mister? Why well, our name's important right now? Well, because I don't want to kill a total stranger. What do you want to kill me for, me, Todd? You are sitting in my chair. I'm just waiting for you. Albino sent you, eh? Bastard. I've always been loyal. Please. These are girls in the picture. How oh, dare you look at them? Sit down. I also have a pretty teenage daughter. Father to father, you girls ever... You girls ever lock themselves in their room, you know? Cut their hair, paint it red, you know? Put wigs on, shit like that. No, never. I know it. I'm in trouble. So, the albino didn't send you to kill me? No. Then who are you? Ethan. Come on.
have a conversation with this man in the bathroom. And I do not want to be disturbed. Yes, rule number two, do whatever you say. That's right, rule number two. He's a bad guy. Something like that. And you are a good guy. You are a professional, huh? Why have I never seen you in Paris before? I've been away on business for about five years. What is so important that you leave your daughter so long? I was never good at balancing work and family. You know, when I go home, this life, the killing, the rest, it all disappears. I made the wrong choice leaving. Every day I bring my girls to school, and I have dinner with my family. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Well, good for you, Mita. So let's not miss dinner tonight. <laughs> when is the accountant arriving in Paris? Please remind me who is he again. Mrs. Driscoll here. I'd like to have a word with Zoe's father. Oh. I'm Zoe's father. Is she all right? Zoe's fine, but we need to meet. We need to have a conversation about Zoe's behavior. I, I can be there right away. Well, do hurry. We're going to school. As I was saying to Zoe, Study after study has shown that aggression is exacerbated by violent images in popular culture. Well, Zoe's mother raised her to be a pacifist. Mm. Hitting a classmate in the face is hardly a passive response. With an open hand or a clenched fist. What difference does that make? Well, from my experience, anger, frustration, insult, they all call for, they all call for different responses. Mr. Renner, it's extremely important that you send your daughter a clear message that no matter what she has to confront in life, violence is not an acceptable answer. I'll try. That wasn't so weird. It would have been really embarrassing, Ethan. Loose your hand. What? Loose your hands on. Oh, my thumb. If you're gonna hit someone with a clenched fist, be sure to not tuck your thumb in. You've been gone for five years, and this is what you say to me? Oh, God. Are you Muslim? No. I told you it's my boss's car. Oh, so Vivi's Muslim? No. I'm plugging in my phone. This stuff sucks. I know. I like this. Who are these guys? Do you even care why I got into a fight? <laughs> why can't you just listen to me and try to understand? Okay, uh, why don't you tell me all about it? I have a new friend from Pakistan. And there's this British girl who keeps calling her Packy. Today she put bacon in her locker, so I hit her in the face. Well, she won't do that again, will she? Just a second, sweetie. It sounds like the spares loose in the trunk. Hey! I'm trying to have a conversation with my daughter. I'm, uh... I'm sorry, sweetie. Now, where were we? Punching the girl, right? I feel really bad. Well, don't. Because sometimes it's the only way to stop a bad guy. <laughs> so you're not mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. I'm proud of you. You're stuck up for your friend. Whatever, I'm taking the metro. <sighs> and Ethan? Yeah? You might want to take something for that cough. It's really annoying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can jumpstart your memory, Mita. It's my daughter. 
Zoe? Hey, sorry about earlier. That's okay, honey. I'm I'm sorry too. You have a place to hang out after school? <laughs> I'll wrap my sales meeting and meet you at 3.30, sweetie. She just invited me to hang out. What do you think about that? A girl like this will keep you running in circles. You must draw the line. Not be so soft. You're right, Mita. I have been way too soft. Now, where do I find the albino's account? Hmm? Zoe? It's 3.40, Ethan. Where are you? I'm on my bike, sweetie. Forget it. You're always late. I'm leaving. No, no, no. I'm, I'm almost there, honestly. So give me... Give me five minutes. Fine. Five minutes. I have homework. Wow. Kids. Long are the days when you're turning away from the reasons you strove. Long is the way when you're aching to say, but your teeth bite your tongue. Sorry I freaked out earlier. It's just you and the prom and you came into town. This is really new for both of us, I get it. So, um, favorite place to go after flying chairs, you remember? I remember. Kinda? Yeah. Okay. Gosh, the bike. Uh, it's just um, some flu I picked up. Can't seem to shake it off. What if something worse? No, it's, uh, it's, it's nothing worse. Remember when we drink hot chocolate at the beach house? Sort of. It's the one place I wouldn't mind calling home. Uh, more than Pittsburgh, really. Yeah, more than Pittsburgh. <laughs> You know, I uh, kept all our home movies in a box. Remember, we make dinner and watch them tonight. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Good. Oh, shoot, I forgot I have to go to Karina's tonight. Who? Karina, she's my lab partner. We're doing a science project together. I'm going to spend the night. Our school night? Yeah, I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm really sorry. No, it's okay. It's just. Don't I need to call her parents first? Yeah, if you speak Russian. That's all her parents understand. <laughs> oh. But call mom, she'll tell you it's cool. I don't need to, I don't need to call your mom. Can we watch those movies tomorrow? Yeah, sure. See you later. Hi, this is Christina. I'm not here, so please leave a message. Uh, Tina, it's me. Uh, can you believe Zoe and I Hung out on flying chairs, and we had hot chocolate, and it was her idea. 
Thanks for all this, Tina. You're a, a really great mom. I'm thrilled everything's going so well, but, uh, who's this rat? Well, I've never heard of her, nor her Russian parents. Anyways, give me a call. Is this your car? Pardon. Is this your car? Whoa. No.
don't know the rule. Never involve family. This isn't a business meeting, Mita. This is... This... I'm more of a father-to-father -father type of this. It's dinner time. Mitat? Do you know this man, Mitat? Yeah, we work together. Never see him before. Ah, it's an American. <laughs> okay. Come. Come with us. Thanks for that. This is Rachel, Sarah. I have a serious problem with my daughter, Zoe. <laughs> You've been gone for five years, and you did not expect trouble. We cannot help you. That's right. You probably can't, but your girls might be able to tell me where a 16-year-old would go to party on a school night. What does a spider mean? They are good girls. They do not party. What does a spider mean? That's what it is. How do you know that? Thank you. Vous, monsieur, là, ça va pas être possible. I have a daughter. Vous pouvez pas entrer. Vous entendez ce que je vous dis? Vous pouvez pas entrer. What are you doing here? Better question, Zoe, is what were you doing last night? God, this is so embarrassing. They'll never let me in there again. Why would you ever want to go back to a place like that? Because I like being with my friends. Your friends? Do you even remember what happened? In the bathroom? Zoe. What? In the bathroom. Do you remember what happened? Look, Karina and I aced the practice test, okay? No, you didn't. Yes, we did. So we decided to go hang out with some friends. I've gotta go catch the metro. I'm gonna be late. You're for not school. going to the metro. What? You're not going to school today. Not dressed like that. You're putting us on. We're going home. We're gonna have a talk. And how exactly am I supposed to get home? You know, ride this bike. Yeah, I don't think so, you're Ethan. You're getting on this bike, and I'm gonna follow you every step of the way. No, you're not. Stop talking and get on the bike. I thought that's what you wanted to do, Ethan. Talk. 
Get on this bike. Or what? Now! I don't even know how to ride a bike, okay? What kind of kid doesn't know how to ride a bike? The kind of kid who never had a father to teach her. This is the flattest spot, so let's just try it right Gosh, here. Did you have to get the biggest bike there? It's not the biggest bike, so it's a, it's a girl's bike. Right, you picked it because it had the big bow on it, right? No, I can explain the big bow. I got it. Get on. There's too many people there's here. Not, I, like, can we go somewhere private? God. There's not too many people. But it's purple. It is purple. Get on. How do you even get on it? Yeah, just get on. Wow, we did it. We're halfway there. Just We're trying to just give yourself trying to push you, okay? It's right here then. Okay. All right. So, all right. Well, okay. okay. Good. Easy, please. Okay, I have it. I just cut you off path. Oh, my God, it's so high. Don't let go. I'm going to go. Ah. Sorry, push you. Why did you leave us, Ethan? Why did you leave me and Mom? Look, I traveled a lot, sweetheart, and your mother and I... <laughs> there's no easy, um... There's no good answer, honey. All right. Do you have another family? No, no, sweetheart, I didn't. Come on. Do you have another family? Is that what it no. is? Do you have another no, perfect no. daughter somewhere? Did you no. see me and not want me? No, Did you sweetheart. not love me? No, sweetheart, that's not it. But why did it take so long for you to come back? <laughs> the longer I was gone, it felt like the harder it was to come back. to do with you. Would you still care about me if I did horrible things? Yes, of course. Absolutely. I lie a lot. Like, all the time, about everything. I, even when I don't need to, I don't know why. Well, you know, sometimes that's easier than telling the truth. That girl I hit at school, she wasn't teasing a Pakistani friend, she was hitting on Hugh. It's all right, he prefers soccer. Yeah. You! These are so beautiful, thank you. Give me one sec, I'll be right back. Ethan, don't say anything weird. You rave, Hugh? What? You rave? No, <laughs> no way, Mr. Zoe. I'm an athlete. I'm a striker. Last game I scored two goals, by the way. So you like to score? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. No, no. well, I'm, I, I mean, on the field. Yeah. On the field only, yeah. Soccer. Yeah. yeah. Not a fan, I'm from Pittsburgh, we play real football. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, American football, yeah. No, real football. Okay. <laughs> nice bike. You like the bike? Yeah. You're the only one. I won't be home late, Ethan. Where are you two going? School. Great. Well, I'm headed that direction myself. No, you're not. Yeah, well, I could be. I'm going to the market. Uh, okay, well, uh, I'm gonna... Okay, see you later, Mrs. O. I've only been called that. You don't like you? I'm in, uh, I'm in sales, sweetie. It's my business to read people. You know, a lot of my friends' dads are in sales, Ethan, and not one of them dresses like you. What are you saying? I'm saying they wear suits. 
that's what they were to work. Hey, I love you. <laughs> oh. Haven't I heaped you enough? You know the drill. The accountant checked out. I need you to tell me where he is now. I gave in to you yesterday. I know you did. I know you're back. I saw you were a pro. Look, I'm suddenly a single dad. It's getting complicated. Is it my fault if your daughter is, is out of contain and affecting your work, your judgment? You're right, me, Todd. It is affecting my judgment. Because you should have been dead a long time ago. Hey! My wife works late. I need to pick up my girls at 4.30. I can't promise, but I'll make an effort. Get around your mirror. Fine, oh, asshole. Briefcase has the routing codes to the albinos accounts, doesn't it? Yeah. And do not open! The lock has an explosive a trigger. All right, I got the codes to the briefcase. Give me the codes to the trigger, Guido. But after I give it to you, you will kill me. No, but I swear to God, I'm going to really torture you if you make me count to three. No. OK, one. Oh, no. Two. No. Zoe? Ethan, uh, so listen, I was thinking about tonight. Sweetie, I'm gonna be home on time for dinner, all right? I promise. Now, can I... Can I call you back? I wanna make dinner for you tonight. Just the two of you, like a... Romantic dinner? Something like that. And I wanna make him real spaghetti sauce, but I don't know what I need besides tomatoes. Can't find mom, so I need your help. Just a sec. Guido, are you a real Italian? What? I mean, are you a real Italian? I mean, were you born there? Yes, Catania, Sicily. Could she have a recipe for sauce? Sauce? Yeah, sauce, you know, sauce. Is that cold? No, it's not cold. You just said you're a real Italian, right? See. Si. See. Si. So you must know a little something about Spaghetti sauce. Ah, spaghetti sauce. Red or white? Red or white? Uh, red. Vegetable, not too spicy. Vegetarian, not too spicy. Okay, I know what to tell her. So 
sweetie, it just so happens I'm in a meeting here with a real live Italian. His mama has a great recipe. He wants to give it to you. His name's Guido. Why don't you say hello to my daughter? Hello. I am a Guido. Hi, Guido. This will only take a second. Oh, no, no. Please take Please a, all of the time you want. No, no, no. So, this is my mama's favorite reduction sauce. You will need uh, tomatoes, uh, capers, uh, and garlic. She always uh, uses uh, tomatoes from her garden. Your mom has a garden? That is so cool. Yes. She worked uh, all her life so I could uh, go to school. And now I am the only one left uh, to take care of her. What else, Guido? Heat uh, the olive oil, cross uh, the garlic, uh, then uh, you peel uh, the tomatoes. After uh, 10 minutes, no more, add uh, the capers and parsley. And my mama's uh, secret is uh, a cup of uh, red wine and a teaspoon of sugar. <laughs> Boy, that, that Guido's a real mama's boy, huh? I think it's sweet that he loves his mother. Thanks, Ethan. Remember. Don't get home too early. Okay. Oh, no! Wait! Oh, please, call her back. I, I want to give her my mama's uh, favorite uh, recipe for cannoli. You know how to tell time? Where's the one? Where's the three? It's two hours. You cut this guy loose in two hours. Guido, remind me where you're going after this kid lets you go. I'm going back home to live with Mama. You're late. I can see that. Job's done. No fun. Not really. Sit down. Or did you forget why you came? Good time in Paris, aren't you? Who doesn't love Paris? Now that we've bankrupted the albino, he'll come running back to Paris with his tail between his legs, leading us straight to the wolf. When? Very soon. You can't go dress like that. That's wrong with how I dress. What are you, Shelly? 42 long? Yes. Take it off. Excuse me? Shoes, everything. Let's go. You let that guy go, right? You didn't hurt him? No, you... You keep that. That's yours now. First time for you, after all. Actually, it is. 
What about your daughter? I wasn't there. I was working far away, in Africa, to be precise. You were doing good. I don't even remember. Before the baby leaves the house for the first time, it is our custom to have the family offer a blessing. Leave. Yes. We are keeping our word to you. What? Word? What? What word? I mean, I just, I brought Chinese, okay? Where I got a hundred fortune cookies. It's right? okay. Everything is as it should be. Look, I didn't mean for you to have to leave right after the child was born. I mean, there's, there's, plenty, uh, there's plenty of room for everyone. Maybe it's too much room. My wife wants a smaller place, out of the city. No guests. Just us and the children. It is good, as long as we are together. Sumia wants to call the baby Ethan. Boy's name. It's the name of a great man who didn't shoot us when he could, but instead gave us his hope. She has chosen carefully. The name is perfect. Go. You asked me to go to the prom. Good. So dinner was a success. Wow. You look nice. Did you wear that for me today? Uh, uh no, I had to, had to give a speech. Are you coming to the pre-party tomorrow? Well, I am if you're asking. It's on Hugh's father's rooftop. And you know, Hugh comes from a really cultured family. Yeah. Don't forget, you got Steelers blood running through your veins. Hmm? They sent Hugh to a special school to learn how to dance when he was like eight. So? So that means he's probably a really good dancer. So? So I don't know how to dance like that, Ethan. For this. You're not too big. Now stand on my feet. I'm gonna teach you how to dance to your mother's favorite song. Okay. Here. And back. Yes. Pretty easy, huh? Not too bad. Now get off. <laughs> <laughs> Would you wear this suit tomorrow for me? Of course I would. <laughs> Every little thing only time 
Since I've been back, how are you feeling? The one I bring so to school in the first grade. She had that stuffed rabbit. Lammy the lamb. <laughs> right, Lammy the lamb. I remember the day she never took him to school again. My stomach hurt that day. That's how I feel now. Like you lost something. Yeah. Have you told her yet? No. Gonna have to. I know. Just tell her you love her. She knows. She needs to hear it from you. Of course I love her. I mean, I love her the same way I. Same way I love you. Not on the couch. No, Tina, I'm not on the couch. Good morning, parents. Mm. Well, sweetheart, what a good idea. Here, bring that orange juice right here. Sweetheart, just put down the tray. I'll meet you in the kitchen, okay? Come on, I squeezed the oranges all by myself. Now, please. What's wrong, Mom? You're acting really weird. Nothing, sweetie. Just go finish getting dressed, and I'll take you to school. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Love you, Mom. I love you, sweetie. What's wrong with her seeing us? Really? What happens when you're gone? Yeah. The albino is staying at the Grand Hotel. Me. I'd have to be blind, not to. Don't do anything stupid, me, Top. Your girl's expecting you home tonight. So is your beautiful wife. Whom were you talking to?
Have we lost him? This kind of guy, he never give up. Why you don't kill me already? Because you're the father who knows best. Okay. Das habe ich schon bei ihm gesehen. Er ist krank. Was machst du? Bring ihn einfach um! Darauf habe ich lang gewartet, mein Schatz. Hm? Welcome back. You let the wolf slip through your hands again. Where am I? A safe place. We got your lab results back today, Ethan. I was actually pretty curious myself. And as it turns out, <laughs> looks like the treatment's having a positive effect on you. Oh. This is my wife. Hello? Hi. Uh, where are 
are you? Um, I'm leaving the doctor's office now. Hurry up and get home. We're going to be late for Zoe's party. Okay. I don't want to spend the rest of my life killing for you, baby. You're almost there, Ethan. <laughs> Kill the wolf. I'm going to need a new suit. You heard him. There has been a change in plans. We're leaving tonight. Take me to my partner's house. He will help me to get out of Paris. Mom, don't ruin my night. Why don't you just try them on? No! Just, just at least try them on? No! Whoa! Just smile and have fun! Why? I hate these shoes. I look like Little Miss Sunshine. You look great, honey. No, I don't. So. Hugh. You look great. Really? I do? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, um, Mr. Renner, Mrs. Renner, these are my parents. <laughs> nice to see you again. Thanks Hello. for inviting us. Hi. You're welcome. This is Ethan, Zoe's dad. Hi. Hi. Uh, this is my partner. Yeah, so, yeah, we had a good Pleasure to meet you. So, you been here before? Yeah. And you. If it wasn't for this party, we might never have met. How do you do? Enchanté. Wow. Yeah, wow. Kids. <laughs> Best judgment with Hugh tonight. You're working again. Yeah, there's a problem here. That's why you came back to Paris? No, I came back to see you and Zoe. It was all a lie. You promised you'd keep your work away from us. You're probably not even sick. It's not a lie, Tina. And right now, I don't have the time to explain. Just one door at The police will be here in ten minutes. You all right? No, I'm not too I'm gonna go. If we go now, there is enough time. Okay. This party's over. You use this box? No, I would never do that. I'll get my phone, everyone in, make sure the street's blocked. 
At least have the decency to look at me. Kill him. It's just bad luck. It's crazy. I'm gonna be sick. Come with me. Sending you down. So that's what it looks like to you, Ethan. Figures. 
finish it. What? You'll do what I tell you to. Finish. It. Pass my quota, baby. <coughs> Ethan. Jesus Christ. Are you really done working? A killer is a killer. He'll never change. I know heaven. Kill him. I should have left a long time ago. What about your daughter? I wasn't there. Do it. What kind of kid who never had a ride a bike? The kind of kid who never had a father to teach her. Ethan. <laughs> Do it! <clears throat> you have no choice. Can I talk to her? No, she's down on the beach right now, throwing rocks. What? Yeah, we're, uh, <laughs> we're taking a break from each other right now. At least she's not throwing them at me. Is everything all right? Yeah, it's been all right. It's, uh, been good and bad days. She said things, I've said things. There's been some tears. But the week overall's been really worth it. These are some presents for me and a, a package that was dropped at the house. I can hear your car running. Are you gonna go back? I love you, Tina. It's not enough to quit. I think you're wrong, but I understand. If I could... If I could say one word to you to change your mind, would you give me that chance? This isn't a game. We don't have to stay in the same room. We don't have to sleep together. That's not what I'm asking. If, if that becomes important, you'll be the one to decide. I'll, I'll hear the music, and then I'll know. And if I never hear it, I've already gotten more than I deserve. I just want to hang out as long as I can with my daughter and my wife. What's the word? What? What's the one word to make me change my mind? It's, uh, it's Christmas. <laughs> That's two, Ethan. Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. I'm so glad you came. Come on, let's go inside. Dad's gonna make us hot cocoa. Come on.
Dad's gonna stick around. As long as he can, sweetheart. 